Hey guys, okay, I'm excited and I'm totally beat, I'm totally tired. I'm sitting here, and the reason why I'm coming on early is because if I don't, I'll fall asleep. And then you'll, you'll see the show start like this. I was just like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, okay, I got a few more minutes. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna close my eyes for a minute. Oh my goodness, that's not a good idea. So I, th I thought, I better just get on the show. So, so uh, I'm not gonna tell you what happened this morning yet until top of the hour. But I have a few questions here I want to uh, uh, say. First of all, YouTube has the wrong numbers, wrong everything underneath the video. It says uh, there's one person watching, and I know that's not true. So don't worry about it. Usually there's 70 to 100 people watching uh, every live show. Last week I didn't do it because I was, up, I was filming in the Smoky Mountains, and I had to. What is going on? My neck, this is like... Something's going on. The bugs falling from the sky? No lie, I keep feeling something like it's crawling on me. <laughs> anyway, maybe something's in my hat. Anything in my hat? Nope, it's all good. All right. So anyway, uh, I went uh, I went hunting, and I'll tell you about that in a minute. But I want to get I want to get to yeah. Just don't snore. Ha ha ha. Oh, you're all a bunch of. Can comedians uh um uh shafe nasty i was on i've been on every week except last week so uh, it has been about two weeks now so i'm back on uh, i almost didn't make it today we almost stayed out a little bit longer than uh a little bit longer had i st we we had a oh, i just want to tell you what's going on i can't yet okay so it was it was fun but uh i wanted to make it back here and my buddy terry made sure I made it back in time for the live show. So that's totally cool. Uh, let's talk about what you guys are asking really quick. Yeah, how can somebody, the, the show hadn't even started and somebody thumbed it down. Three people or whatever. I couldn't care less about thumb ups or thumb downs, you guys. I am not, that, that doesn't sway me. I don't know who it is. And most people are just, you know, who thumb down are just haters that don't understand the show anyway. The rest of you are my friends and family. So it, the thumb up, thumb down doesn't, it doesn't bring me more money. It doesn't make my my video go away. It doesn't make my video better or show up more. The thumb up and thumb down doesn't do anything. I just it just allows people to like or hate your video or whatever. Um, but it does nothing. There's no names associated to it. No nothing. So uh, I'm I'm mixed feelings about that whole thumb up thumb down thing. Bobby asked me, um, but where was that question, Bobby? It's here somewhere. Hang on. Outside of salt and pepper, do you have a favorite spice seasoning that you'd like to throw into things you make? Uh, something that the recipe may not call for, but you like to add. Uh, big fan of garlic. If it, there's no garlic in it, unless it's the dessert, but if there's no garlic in it, something's wrong with the dish. Um, two things I like to add, and, and you, you might think I'm crazy. One, and it all depends on, on what the food is. But one is, you guys know I've been a big fan of chipotle peppers and adobo sauce because it has this incredible smokiness to it. I can't explain it. Heat and smoky and awesomeness. Um, it'll, it'll bump up any super chili. I, I, it's crazy. So uh, that's one thing I like to throw in. I know it's not really a seasoning. The other thing is, ready for this? Not enough people use balsamic vinaigrette or balsamic vinegar. Uh, balsamic vinegar is amazing. It's it's sweet, it's got a little bitterness to it. Uh, if you cook down balsamic vinegar, it becomes a syrup and you can drizzle it over steak or over chicken. It's really, really good. It becomes like a, a thick black goodness. And if you've ever had balsamic, if you haven't, Try to get aged balsamic. It's like 18 years, they go up to like 18 years aged. It's so, so good. So those are some things, balsamic and adobe, so, uh, chipotle peppers and adobe sauce and garlic. Those are some things I like to add in because I think they have amazing flavors. Uh, let's see here. Uh, da -da, let's see, up since 3 a.m. Yep, I've been up since 3 a.m. There was another question. That's why I came on also. <laughs> deer ticks. No, no deer ticks. I'm telling you that right now. Uh, let's see. 
Jack, do you edit with iMovie or Final Cut Pro? Uh, I edited with Final Cut Pro for years during my cooking show, and I got rid of it because Apple wasn't really behind the whole Final Cut thing, even though that was like the number one software to me. So I jumped ship and I went to Adobe Premiere Pro CS6, and then they put their whole suite in the cloud. I don't know if you guys know what Adobe did, Photoshop, After Effects, all their software is in the cloud and you have to subscribe to it, a monthly fee if you wanna use their software now. So I might, be, I might be jumping back to Final Cut 10 because now I'm mad at Adobe. Before I was mad at, they did a horrible job on, on Final Cut, but they've been doing some improvements. So, uh, so for the past year and a half, I've been an Adobe Premiere editor. It really doesn't matter. You can edit an iMovie. All you need to know to do is how to cut and how to crossfade. That's about it. Um, none of us are doing anything fancy. So uh, any of the software work. I, I would use, if I had to choose, I would never use iMovie unless I couldn't afford software. And if you don't afford software, if you can't afford to buy software, use iMovie if you're on a Mac because it's free and it'll work. It'll do a great job. Or use, uh, for the PC, use Movie Maker. Ah, da, da, da. It's a tick, Jack. You're a hunter now. Get used to them. No, it can't be a tick. No, I, I've, I, I have my uh, fleeing tick collar on. I had it on all day yesterday too. Uh, yeah, I know. I had tournaments. I played in. Okay, is this like a, a live vlog thingy? Um, Silver Ash wants to know if it's a live vlog thingy. Uh, I don't know what a live blog thingy is, but it is a live show, and it's a... It, oh, okay. Well, I call it a Q&A. Basically, you can ask, ask me questions. I have topics right here that I'm going to discuss with you guys. And since we're at the top of the hour, I can get in all my headlines, all my topics. So I'll give you... Uh, we talk foods, everything that Jack likes. Food, sports, and games. That's what I love. So we usually talk about all three of those. I don't like all sports, but... I'm learning to. I learned to like soccer this summer. The World Cup got me into soccer, so uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's like a. It's like a. Uh, he's got a, a Q and A. Yep. Uh, welcome, Silver Ash. Okay. Wait. What did he say? Gave it a spicy, smoky flavor. Uh, Rep nineteen eighty nine. The spiciness thing I use is chipotle, chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Adobo. A D O B O sauce. It's a little can, you'll find it at Walmart, you find it everywhere on the Hispanic aisle. And it'll say chipotle peppers and adobo sauce is three different brands. Uh, the one I use has the lady on it. <laughs> I don't know the name, sorry. Uh, Sandy says, ditto on garlic and balsamic, also various mustards. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm a big, uh, I grew up eating Golden's mustard, which is a brown deli mustard. Not a big fan of yellow mustard unless it's corn dogs or pretzels. So like yellow mustard has its way in my life, but only for certain things. Everything else, a sandwich deserves deli mustard or nothing at all. Uh, chipotle peppers and double sauce. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, I thought there was no live show today. Uh, Herc, uh, it, there was no live show last week, Herc Zeus. Uh, I probably, I almost didn't make this one. So let me tell you, I get up at 3.30 in the morning and I go over to my buddy Terry's house. I filmed everything today. So you'll be able to see everything except when I'm aiming and shooting and all that. Uh, it was impossible. It was dark. Uh, it was it was far away. He was trying to stay out of the way because the turkeys can see you. Uh, so I got everything from, hey, how you doing? I'm inside the tent. And then afterwards, I show you what I shot. But let me tell you how it went. And you're the first to hear this. Nobody on any of my social media knows about this, okay? So we're waiting, the sun's coming up, and it's misty and foggy out, and we're in a tent that has these zip-down windows, little tiny windows, that you can put your gun through when you're ready. And basically, we have a bunch of trees to my, to my right. And he said, and I didn't know, did you guys even know turkeys sleep in trees? Did you even know that? I'm such an idiot. So anyway, but I'm being trained by one of the best rednecks in the business. Uh, Terry said that they're they're up in the trees and we had to be really quiet and then you'll hear foo, 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 foo. and that's when they come out of the trees. They all start to drop down and you'll start to hear them and then you hear bop, 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 
you know, you'll hear their noise and stuff. And, and so they ran a little late. Um, the sun was up and we thought they weren't coming. They weren't up there. So we started to hear the noise and then, and then, uh, Terry says, there's one coming across your site, uh, from the trees all the way across your window. So I put the gun up and I'm, I'm looking and he's moving along. So I'm kind of doing this and I didn't want to do that. I don't want to shoot like this. I want to shoot like this and have the, the bird go right in front of my gun. So the first one, I, he was going too fast, and he says, you take, a, take a shot if you can. And I'm like, I'm letting him go, Terry. He's like, okay, do what you need. So I put the gun back up there. There were two or three, uh, there were like four total, I think. Uh, it, it's still a blur in my head because it was kind of cool. Um, so I got it, and I just, I put the, I put my gun, uh, I point it right in front of where that turkey is, and I let him walk right in front of my, into my sight. Right when he came over the dot, I'm like, and this thing went, whoosh, flop, 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 and it was done. It was done. It was over. And first, first, all right, listen, to all of you, can you hear me? To all of you who said I would not get a turkey, first shot, head shot. Write that down. Remember that. First shot, head shot, done. It was awesome. And I want to thank my video games for that. So for all of you who say that video games are bad for you, it helped me. <laughs> it's helping my dinner tonight or tomorrow night. I mean, because I'm seasoning it tonight. So anyway, the other thing I learned about turkey hunting, uh, the breast meat is about all you want on a wild game turkey. Not the ones that are grown in farms or the ones that are steroid injected. Um, the ones that, that run around all day fearing for their life. Their legs are tight and a lot of tendons and not a lot of good meat. Most people just shoot them and take all the breast meat, um, but the rest, the thighs, the back, and all that stuff. Uh, I will someday, I only took the breast meat, so we cleaned it right away. Um, I'll only take the breast meat of this one. The next one, I'm going to try to take it all. So when I, when I go out again, I'm gonna bring the bird, I'm gonna clean it, and I'm gonna take the whole bird home and I'm gonna try and cook that. I'm gonna smoke that. I think. So uh, I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna cook this this uh, turkey breast. I'm gonna do a video on cooking with Jack with the with the turkey. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do special to season it. Uh, maybe I'll do balsamic and chipotle's and adobo sauce. I don't know. But it's whatever it is. It's gonna be good. And then I'm gonna bring some back to Terry because he was such a nice guy and the and the gentleman who let us use his property which he will remain nameless. But there are so many nice people out here. They're so kind and they're so patient with me, uh, helping me do my videos and everything. They're just great people. And uh, so I just wanna say thanks to everybody involved that made this happen. Okay, moving on. Let's see what you guys are talking about here. Ugh, I hate this chat window. It's like this big and I have to answer everybody's questions. Uh, it's Thanksgiving in Canada this weekend. Oh, I didn't know that. Happy Thanksgiving, you guys. That's right. It happens in October. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, Ash, every week on Saturday, he just comes on and talks to us about future shows or life in general. Uh, yeah. Speaking of life in general, my moving fiasco isn't over yet. For those of you who don't know, it's, it's rearing its ugly head again. I thought we had a settlement and then they sent that. All right. Well, let me tell you. So the moving company moved us to Tennessee, destroyed all our stuff. They weren't going to pay anything but like seven grand or 10 grand for $23,000 in damages they did to all my belongings. Okay. So I threatened to sue them and they came back. We negotiated a price. So we negotiated a price that will possibly replace everything that's broken. I'll have to shop around and get things on sale and, but I can replace everything at a lower price than the $23,000 worth of damage. So we agree on it. Well, then this, this other bill of $5,000 is sent to Tammy's employer who paid for our move. He paid $11,000 to move us, have it all packed, move it, break it, and then deliver it. Okay. Um, so then a $5,000 bill arrived and that's like, they said, oh, we didn't estimate enough weight. What? You, you, est you walked my house, you measured everything in my house, and you're saying, oh, well, we didn't, we didn't give you the right quote. You need to pay us $5,000 more. 
Well, the company's not going to pay the $5,000 more. So now that the company said, we're not paying more, the moving company has withheld our settlement check and said, until that $5,000 is paid. I'm like, hey, that's your, that's your issue with the company. It has nothing to do with the stuff you broke. So it has reared its ugly head again, and we are going off to take action because I just can't handle it anymore. I'm over it. I'm over the whole thing. So now I get to sue them for the entire amount, plus legal costs, plus pain and suffering. And trust me, sleeping on a mattress on the floor because they busted up my bedroom set, there's plenty of pain and suffering going on. All right, now I'm done ranting. So yeah, Ash, I talk about my life, and I talk about future episodes. All right, so here we go. Let me load in some more. Uh, da, 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 da. What do we got? Oh, why do you prefer Mac? Um, I prefer Mac because I think the PC is annoying. The software is annoying. When I install a program on it, I was a PC user for over a decade. When I install, um, let's take Norton Antivirus, for example. Let's say I want to try Norton Antivirus on the PC. Well, it infected everywhere. It writes in the registry. PC is so poorly designed that when you install a program, it writes in 12 different places. But when you delete a program, you go, oh, I don't want this, and you get rid of it, everything's still there. You can't get rid of it. You gotta go into the registry, delete this, and delete that program, and it created a folder and a file, and it is like, you have to be like a computer programmer to get rid. Norton Antivirus is like the worst software ever, and trying to get rid of it is, is a nightmare. So, you go to the Mac, Hey, I want to try this. So you install the program. It goes in a little folder. That's it. Ah, I don't like this. You remove it, put it in the trash can. It's all contained in one file. That's it. It uninstalls just by dragging it to the trash. It's all gone. Uh, you know, I like everything about Mac. It's, uh, it's great for if you're a designer, if you do digital art, video, any of the artistic stuff, the Mac. If you're just a business user, yeah, stick with PC. It's, it's dirt cheap. Uh, way less expensive than a Mac and you know if you're just answering emails and typing letters in fact uh, if you're answering emails typing letters gets uh, my big thing now is my Chromebook it's $279 I love that thing I use it more than I use this Mac in front of me I use this Mac just for editing videos basically but I'm on the Chromebook all the time I write letters in Google Doc I can save them as Word documents if I want I got Google Spreadsheet I can save as Excel I'm on the internet all the time. My Google, my Chromebook does everything for two hundred seventy dollars. Can't beat it. So uh, that's. But I'm a big Mac fan. Morning, brother Jack. Go Seahawks. Oh, Ron. Thanks for reminding me. Seahawks are going down today. All right, my Cowboys are gonna kick your butt. <laughs> Man, that that hurts saying that. But really quick, let me give you my football picks for Saturday's uh, games because there we go. Uh, I got Alabama against Ark. Is this the right game? Last time I gave. Yeah, 10-11. Alabama versus Arkansas. I'm giving up 10.5 points. Auburn, it, Mississippi State's doing so good. M Ole Miss and Mississippi State are having a good year. But Auburn's going to win, and I'm giving up three points. Missouri against Georgia in Missouri. Give, I'm getting three points. Purdue, I don't know why I did this. Purdue against Michigan State. I couldn't help it. They tempted me with 21.5 points. I'm thinking, okay, they're at home, maybe... Somebody breaks their leg on Michigan State, and they win. And then Minnesota uh, against Northwestern, minus four and a half points. And then Oregon is going to come back strong. I'm taking Oregon, giving up two and a half points because Oregon got spanked. They lost to Arizona last week, and they they were like number two. I don't know where they're ranked now, but I guarantee you this: they probably ain't making the Final Four now. If you guys don't know college football, this is the first year of a playoff system. That's right. There's going to be a playoff system of the top few teams. They're going to compete just like NFL. And then they're going to have a championship game. And I'm really excited. And they're probably going to screw it all up. I mean, look at the NFL. They're the professionals and they can't do anything right. Uh, let's see here. Yes, roosted turkey oh, equals roasted. If you roost them the night before, you kill them the next morning. Uh, yes, and by the way, my buddy Terry did that. He he found out where the where the turkeys were. He set up the tent. He checked the weather. And if you don't believe there's a God, I'm telling you, we have 13 days of thunderstorms, and he, he held back the rain for us this morning. That's right. We're going to go back to thunder clouds and everything, but 
I was really, really bummed because I spent a whole month preparing. I spent a lot of money getting my gun and my, my clothing and, and I went to the course, a uh, four hour course for my hunter safety and an eight hour course online. I would have been devastated if I didn't get to go today. And it was perfect. It was so perfect. You turkey. Okay, no name calling now. You did it right. See, I just called Jack. Uh, what does this say? Uh, Jack, did you ever see the movie Doc Hall Hollywood, the scene where they go fishing by throwing grenades in the water to kill fish? Yeah, I always wondered if that would work. <laughs> I'll never do it. But uh, you didn't get a headshot? No, I got a headshot. <laughs> and uh, let's see here. Oh, Jack Rambo. You guys are too funny. Why only breast? Uh, Ahmed, I don't know if you heard, but the breast meat's the only edible part on a wild turkey. Wild turkeys run around and they're constantly on the go. They're not like farm-raised turkeys that you have at Thanksgiving and buy at the store, which are uh, their, their legs and their the other meat is too tough. Uh, a lot of tendons, uh, not a lot of uh, meat there to, or I should say integrated fat to help plump up the legs that you'd want to eat it. Cowboys over Seahawks, only in your dream. Okay, Harold, only in my dream, huh? All right, we'll see. I'm going to be watching that game today. Seriously. Uh, oh, and by the way, I'm going uh, I'm going somewhere tonight. I have to take a nap because I'm completely beat. But I'm going to shoot zombies with paint, paint guns. They have this place where you can shoot zombies with paint guns. <laughs> no lie. It's a farm or something and for Halloween. So I'm going to shoot zombies tonight. It's going to be awesome. I might, have to, I might do a video on it, so I'll be ready. Uh, I also got the Apple Barn video coming this week. If you guys don't know that, I went up to, or I went over to Sevierville Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Big tourist area. I went to the Apple Barn. I showed how the apples go from the tree to the bottle uh, into apple cider. I showed you, we reviewed restaurants out there. It was a, it's a blast. Two part video is coming this week. So be ready for that. Uh, what are you making? What are you making for Halloween videos? Uh, Blind Guardian 050. I, I've done both my videos. They're already up. So check them out. If you haven't seen it, I did the uh, I did the Frightening Fingers as my official Halloween video. And I kind of changed, made it a little scary in the beginning to me. Uh, changed the intro. And then the one before that is Pumpkin Pie Angel Food Cake. Uh, both those videos are amazing. Uh, I was I kind of shocked myself. I think Miss Mythbusters shot fish in a barrel. Oh, I have to see that. Let's see, change settings. Do you like sweet potatoes and do you cook them for Thanksgiving? Huh, oh, I see what happened, whoops. Hang on guys, I lost my chat window. I love Thanksgiving, uh, sweet potatoes. Do you like sweet potatoes and do you cook them for Thanksgiving? I wonder why they blocked that comment. I'm seeing something new on YouTube, sorry guys. It said, Herc Zeus asked me a question but it's all grayed out. It says blocked by channel blacklist. Hmm. Uh, no, I don't know why it was blocked. There's nothing there that's wrong that you said, Herc. Okay, well, let me answer that anyways, Herc. Um, I love sweet potatoes. In fact, you guys, I just found out sweet potatoes are better for you if you're diabetic than regular potatoes. In fact, they help di diabetes, and you can look that up on the internet. I don't have the information right offhand. All right, don't tell me anything about The Walking Dead, by the way. If you guys watch that, I have it recorded. Um, I just started back up. Uh, will you ever buy a GoPro and video yourself hunting and post on your channel? Yes, Sam, that is one of my goals. So be ready for that. No, more, more videos. Everything I experience, I want you guys to experience through the camera. Ooh, look at that. Wee. Um, so just hang in there. Uh, it was my first try. Next time, I think I'm going to attach a helmet cam so that you can watch me shoot it. Um, I just couldn't, I have one, I just haven't tested it out. Ah, so, so much to do and so little time with the Jack on the Go show and the cooking show and my sauces are blowing up at Walmart and I'll talk about that later. Uh, things are going really well. Can't wait for the apple, I'm not waiting for the zombie. Already too many in TV. Well, what are you giving out for trick-or-treaters this year, Jack? Herc Zeus, ready for this? You're asking some great questions, by the way. I'm giving out whole candy bars in my house. I went and bought the big stuff. I bought two boxes of big, big candy, full bars. So I've got about 50 
50 full bar candies, full size Kit Kats, full size Milky Ways, Snickers, Three Musketeers. I went all out. It's my first time in this neighborhood. I want these kids to know that it's happening right here at the Scalfani's house. So uh, that's what I'm doing. Have you ever made black bean soup? Uh, Ethan's asking that. No, no, black bean soup, I have not. Uh, Ethan, if you have a recipe and you want to send it to me, if not, I can look it up. Uh, it's easier if you look around, help me out, and find one that you like. Because if I pick it, you might not like what's in it. You're like, carrots? They know carrots and black bean. So if you have a good one, send it my way. And uh, I'm going to be doing more soups and stews for the fall. Uh, love soups and stews during the fall. I don't know if I'm supposed to be doing that. To me, it's comfort food. Uh, I've done some chilies already. Uh, in fact, uh, chili cook, uh, they're doing a chili bowl, uh, chili competition out here and tomorrow. Jack Jr. is making a chili. Uh, Herc, you didn't say anything bad. In fact, it, what it is, Herc, is that one of your words is, is in my list. Supposedly, one of the words is a blocked word. I don't know what you put. Just join what's going on. Destroyer Cool. Hey, what's up, Destroyer Cool? Welcome. Uh, we're just answering questions and talking food topics. Uh, la, 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 la. Let's see. Totally out of the blue. But any progress on KFC recipe? Ahmed, no, but keep bugging me about that on Facebook. Keep writing me and reminding me, and I'll see if I can't find one. I'm on day 82 of No White Sugar, Jack. Oh, Shanna, uh, congratulations. I know you've been doing that. Uh, let us know if there's any changes. I mean, anything, anything in particular you notice. Uh, the human body doesn't need white sugar. And uh, there's a book on that. Hi from Sweden. Tim, God bless you guys in Sweden. It's going to be... Uh, uh, how's the weather there, by the way? Are you guys cold yet? Uh, have you? I mean, you guys have fall like I have fall, but uh, you're more north, way more north, right? Yeah. So uh, let me know how the weather is there. It's so cool to have international people watching. Uh, da, 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 whole candy bar is sweet. <laughs> Can't come into my house. That's funny. All right. So, oh, Ethan, totally carrots in my soup. <laughs> All right. I just. <laughs> I just made that up. I didn't know if there's carrots. I love carrots in my soup. I love cooked carrots. I don't like the mushy. If you know how to cook carrots, you make sure they're uh, like al dente. Um, you make sure they're kind of firm, not hard in the middle, but firm in the middle. Okay? You don't want the fork to just mush it. Okay? Uh, eating it right now. Should I send it on your Facebook? Yeah, absolutely. And, and Ethan, if it's your recipe personally or your grandmother's, whatever, give me information about the recipe so that I can talk about it. Because if we're going to do grandma's recipe or mom's recipe or your sister or whatever, it's cool to shout out to them and say, hey, thanks, you know, Ethan's mom's recipe or whatever. I give credit. Jack, uh, do you like Berea? Berea. Have you ever had it? I have not. Um, I don't know what it is. But guess what? I'm doing, um, <laughs> I almost said a bad word. Um, it, okay, <laughs> it would have been wrong. I, I'm doing, because I'm mispronouncing it, it's polenta. I almost said something else. I don't know why, but polenta is a dish that I'm making. And that's uh, Italian? I have to check my notes. Anyway, so I, there's things I'm trying that are outside of my normal circle of, you know, burgers and ribs and hot dogs, you know. Uh, how does autumn in Tennessee compare to that in California? Shasta Gulch wants to know. Um, I have to tell you, and you guys are loading up the questions. This is awesome. I may never get to my topics. Uh, I have to tell you, autumn out here, the leaves are changing. And the weather's cool. I love rain and thunder and lightning. I love... After the rain out here, you almost get, it, it, it's amazing to smell the air out here. There was so much smog in California. I, I, and everybody gets mad at me in California, talking down about California. Uh, there's nothing, don't take it personally. I have many friends and family in California I love dearly. This isn't about whether I like you. The state of California is in disarray. The state of California is hurting from top to bottom on a multiple levels. But in Tennessee, it just, it the weather wise, I'm so excited. I'm excited for cold. I'm excited for, for all of it. I want 
to feel cold during Christmas. I've always dreamt of it. Uh, some of you are like, you can have it. I've been in Canada my whole life, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I get it. California's waiting for you. So anyway, and they're having a huge drought. California always, you know how many 80 to 100 degree temperature Halloweens I had. How many times, you know what it's like to be sweating, walking your kid around in, uh, in his Halloween costume and all that? It just stinks. That's not what it's about. It's supposed to be hay rides and, and your nose gets ready like it's happening right now. My nose is itching and I don't know why. Maybe I did bring back some stuff from the, from the forest. I don't know. From hunting. Um, so, anyway, what is it? It's the, oh, it's Berea. Sorry, Berea. I thought it was, it was a double R, wasn't it? Oh, I, I rolled my R's. It's the Mexican beef stew made with a savory chili broth. Usually sold in, in the mornings here in Mexico. You know what? I've never heard of it. You want to send me that recipe? That would be great. There's a house out here in Tennessee that makes, and you guys might not be in the menudo. She makes menudo on Saturdays and Sundays. And she makes it in her home. And she makes tons of it. And there's a line out her house to buy her menudo. No lie. I haven't been there yet. I'm going to do a video on it. I just don't know where she is. I know it's ex it's existing. Uh, Sam is asking uh, how good Jack Jr.'s football team is playing. Uh, they're done because the freshmen do a shorter season, eight or nine games. Uh, they lost the last game by one field goal. They won every game. They went undefeated in the last game. They lost. They kicked The other team kicked a field goal the last two seconds and beat them. So uh, it, was, they did, it, was, it was a great, great, great thing. All right. Uh, I, love, I love that football. It's almost like winter here in Buffalo. Really? Wow. Uh, Nahari? Kind of easy. Whoops. Sorry. Nahari, kind of easy. Very bad. Ahmed is saying very bad for people trying to stay in shape, but have to have once or twice in a year. Uh, Ahmed, where are you located again? I forgot. I know you told me. I've already asked you that. Destroyer, cool. Everybody say cooking with Jack for the win. Oh, uh, you're too cool. Thank you. Hey, Jack, can you make me, can you make lemon drizzle cake? Possibly. It's it's not exciting me, the idea of lemon drizzle cake. I'm guessing it's just cake and you drizzle a lemon kind of a, a frosting on it. Um, I kind of like crazy stuff. Like if it was like, I don't know, like peanut butter and, and taco sauce drizzle. You know, I'd be like, really? I got to try that. Ugh, sounds nasty. I just made that up. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you want to, you guys can send me. And if you want to contact me throughout the week, when I'm not on the live show. Facebook, I'm usually on all the time. Google Plus, I feel sorry for Google Plus. I love Google Plus, nobody uses it. It's dying, it's kind of stagnant. Uh, or you can tweet me a question on Twitter if you wanna hit me up. Uh, hey Jack, my parents are Romanian and when I go to Romania, I visit my grandparents, they eat polenta with something, not really by itself, such as fish or chicken or whatever. Yes, polenta's good. Um, it's like you would do mashed potatoes, uh, or stuffing or sweet potatoes. Uh, polenta, I'm, I think I'm going to just put grilled chicken on top of the polenta so you can eat it or chicken breast and you can eat it. Yeah. yeah there's something on me. I don't know, guys. I brought the forest back with me. <laughs> um, Hey Jack, uh, let's see. There has been snow. There has to be snow during Christmas. Uh, Bob Donald is saying that I'm coming up on my 50th and never got tired of it. Very cool. I, I'll tell you, it's weird. It's, it's weird. If you've been ra born and raised in California, you're used to not having cold weather for the holidays. But if you used to, if you grew up in cold weather for the holidays as a kid, that's your Christmas. That's your, your dream. And no matter what, no matter how much you ate shoveling snow or whatever, if you went to California and spent the holidays there, you'd be miserable. You'd be like, this just doesn't feel like it. This ain't Christmas. It's just not it. So I'm excited. Not me. I also hate California and was born here. Yep. Carolyn is my mother-in-law who is in the chat room with us. And, uh, and she's, she will be coming out here soon, uh, with her husband. And, um, we have some other friends that are also possibly coming out to live in Tennessee. So, uh, 
everybody's like, shh, Jack, stop telling him to come. All the people in Tennessee, stop telling them about Tennessee. They're all coming. I'm like, no, no, no. The liberals are going to Washington and Colorado. <laughs> Only the conservatives are coming over here. So you don't have to worry about that. So uh, what is Menudo? Sorry, I spelled it wrong probably. Uh, Menudo is, <laughs> I forgot what Menudo is. Isn't it like stomach lining or something crazy? Hold on. It's M-E-N-U-E-D-A, Menudo. Something like, oh, I spelt it wrong. M-E-N, Menudo. There it is, Menudo. Menudo is a traditional Mexican soup, also known as pancita, made with beef stomach. Mm -hmm. There you go. I was right. Tripe in broth with a red chili pepper base. Usually limes, chopped onions, and all that good stuff. Uh, I don't mind tripe. I've had tripe in my Vietnamese soup. I'm okay with it. Uh, Jack, do you watch Gotham, Flash, or Arrow? I'm watching Gotham. I'm not watching Flash. I'm not watching Arrow. I'm watching How to Get Away with Murder. I'm watching... I, I'm, I'm a little behind. Uh, the Goldbergs is a great show. If you guys want to laugh and you're a big fan of the 80s, you got to watch the Goldbergs. It just... I, I die laughing every time I watch it. Jack, did you check out Z Nation yet? Hmm. No, Herc, send me a link uh, on Facebook so that I can just go look at it. Is it a movie? Is it a series? I can't remember. Jack, try making white chocolate cheesecake. It is delicious. Sam, uh, I always do a cheesecake for Christmas. I don't know if I'll do a video on it. Uh, I've never made it from scratch. scratch. I usually get like a New York one. Um, I make rice pudding. My rice pudding video is on the internet. You can watch Cooking with Jack with rice pudding. It is my mom and my mom taught me it. It's just white heaven. So I stand by my rice pudding uh, recipe. Uh, it's amazing. I should do a New York cheesecake or a, which you said was the, uh, a white chocolate cheesecake. It is delicious. I've been doing this. I've been doing a lot of desserts lately and I shouldn't be because I'm in no position or, or shape to be doing it. Uh, Warsaw Poland says, hi, is it Matuas? Matu Matuz? Sorry if I mispronounced your name. Uh, Matuz W or Matuez W. Matuez W. Anyway, God bless Poland. That's all I wanted to say. <laughs> I'm struggling with his name. Uh, falafel, Israel. Make, um, make falafel. Uh, yes, Destroyer, cool. I will, I'm a big fan of falafel. You guys, if you saw I ate it in New York. Every time I'm, I'm in a Middle Eastern restaurant, uh, or Mediterranean restaurant or wherever, and falafel's on the menu, I am there. In fact, you remember Jumbo and Delicious, the burger place with the little kid, the father-son uh, place that I just reviewed? They have falafel, I think, on their menu. I have to check. Maybe they don't. <laughs> anyway. Um, okay, let me talk about the title. Because you guys are just... Pew, 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 questions galore. Let me get to some headlines. Some of you didn't... Uh, Tammy shot tacos in the Smoky Mountains. All right, first of all, here we go. Uh, that's Tammy's new toy. I posted that on Facebook and people just, some people thought it was cool, some people freaked out, but Tammy has that and she will be taking classes, learning her, uh, her own gun safety and um, she will have that in a holster and she will put that in her purse. She's going to get a carry permit and I'm just advising you to not mess with my wife. So, um, it's totally okay around here. It's normal to, to have a gun like you would carry mace or you would carry a knife or wherever in other places. So, uh, it's, it's real tiny and it's very comfortable. It's very ladylike. Uh, and yet it's enough to take down a perpetrator. So, uh, or make them run quickly for a hospital. So, uh, anyway. So she has that. That's her new toy. A lot of you didn't know that. I just wanted to share that with you. As for tacos, Tammy shot tacos in the Smoky Mountains. Um, you guys remember I reviewed a place called L14? It was the worst taco I've ever eaten. Me and Rick Chavez went in there. We didn't. Even, we put the taco down on the on the table and walked out. We couldn't finish the one taco we had. It was a place that that also true deep down Mexican places 
sell uh, fried crickets or deep fried crickets. It's a it's on the menu and it's totally normal. Um, but they had that on the menu. So L14, and I said it was just the nasty. Well, I got it. I just got notified by him. That video is from like two years ago. Okay. And he was very kind. He wasn't mean. But Mario writes me and says, "Hi, have you ever tried? Uh, you have to try our real tacos on Friday and Saturday night. Don't just say it's really bad when you haven't tried our real Oaxican food." Okay. I wrote him back and I said, "Look, number one, you should make real tacos all week long. Why am I getting stuck with not real tacos that taste like my shoe?" So, uh, so my advice with him is like either make good food all week long or only be open Tuesdays and I mean, Fridays and Saturdays. Uh, so it's, it's weird. A lot, I get a lot of my negative reviews on restaurants. I usually get notified by somebody that works there or the owner or something because they get all really upset. I'm like, well, you should serve food good all the time, not just when you know somebody's there filming. So... Anyway, uh, I just wanted to share that. The Knott's Berry Farm Chicken House. I did a uh, recipe on that, and that was uh, a rip-off recipe. And I got headlines from you guys. You guys sent me headlines that said they were closed down. Uh, the health department shut them down. And I want to give you information on that. Uh, yes, they were shut down, not even for a day. They were shut down in the morning, and by that evening, they had rectified the situation. One of their utility rooms, like where the phone wires would be, a utility room had cockroaches. Nowhere in any of the food area, in the restaurant, the storage, the kitchen, the back area, had any cockroaches. Only a utility room. Brought somebody in, cleaned it all up. They're all good. They're preventative now. And I uh, just wanted to share that. And they reopened by like 9.30 that night. So good for them. They moved on it. That's how you handle it. That's how you handle your business. Whoops. We made a mistake. Let's just admit it, jump on it, and move forward. So good for them. Uh, I was at the Smoky Mountains last week. I filmed there a video coming on Jack on the Go. We had a the most beautiful cabin up there, and we shared it with another family, and it was the Adams family. Oh, I got to do it. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> they hate when I do that, but they're awesome. They're so awesome. I want to go do another vacation with them. They were a lot of fun, and... Uh, we had a lot of fun, so I have all that video I'm editing uh, to share with you, and uh, what else? My Halloween videos? Okay, that's all good. Let me go back to you guys. I'm watching from Meridius. Jack, have you heard about Meridius? I love your videos, by the way. You should have more videos with your family. I'm trying. I think my wife is going to get more involved in videos just for the holidays. Uh, she did the peanut butter balls, the bullseye peanut butter balls. Last year, uh, she's awesome. I madly love my wife. I love her more today than yesterday, and more than the day I married her. It just gets worse. I love her more every day, and she's the reason I get to do all this. Uh, she supports m my craziness. Nobody else would, so she is way, way awesome. Uh, Jack, when is the last time you went to Italy? Do you have plans on taking the family there? I... Uh, I haven't been to Italy. I've never been. I've always wanted to go. So I'm taking Jack Jr. because he wants to go too for his graduation. So when he graduates high school, that is his gift from mom and dad is a trip to Italy. And we're not just, we're not going to Rome. We are probably going to try to rent out two or three different villas and stay in some of the smaller towns. I want to meet real people, taste real food, and sample real wine and I don't want I don't want to see a Starbucks or a McDonald's or a Chipotle or anything. I don't want to see anybody taking pictures but me. Ha! That's great. I just made that up. I don't want to see anybody taking pictures but me. <laughs> Alright, so anyway. Ah, oh, Jeff X12, you're late. What's up, man? Oh, it's easy. It's okay, man. It's all good. I have th is it three cats or thirteen cats? Hmm. Okay, cool. I'm not a cat person, but uh, that's okay. Uh, David Bowie, blah, blah, blah. everyone has a gun. That's why David Bowie's afraid of Americans. Everyone has a gun. I'll tell you something. Look at the crime stats, like states like Texas and Tennessee. Crime is lower because everybody has a gun. 
I'm telling you right now, you get stuck up in California, they just, they come right up at you. Hey, give me all you got. I don't care. Just give it to me. They won't do that in Tennessee or Texas because they know there'll be three other people that will blow them away before they can even finish their sentence. That's just how it is. So, um, you know, it, it's, it's just like the countries. Oh, you have a nuclear weapon? Okay, well, we have one too. We're all good. We're all good. We understand. You have one. We have one. You know, I mean, it's, it's not quite the same. That wasn't a great analogy, but, but that's just basically the, the whole thought process. You, you would think more guns, more problems, but no. If everybody has a gun, you're not going to mess with anybody. You're going to think twice where you try and stick somebody up here in Tennessee because everybody's carrying one. So it's just like, hey, take your chance. Uh, contact Laura Vitale. She pointed you in the right direction. Oh, she'll point you in the right direction in Italy. Uh, yeah, I hear she's really nice. I haven't met her. That would be really cool to meet her. Uh, let's see. Patricio Brown. I have just arrived. Patricio's just arrived. Yay. Uh, will Jack Jr. start shooting? Uh, Sam, Jack Jr. is doing a lot on his gaming channel. If you guys don't know his gaming channel, let me put it in the, in the comment box. Jack Jr.'s gaming channel. He's really been working hard at it. I got him a, I got him on a new webcam and he, uh, he's doing a lot of editing on his own. I'm very proud of him. A lot of Photoshop work. Uh, Jack Jr. gaming channel is YouTube. I can't do links, so I'm going to have to dot com slash cv3 enforcer is that right yeah it looks good to me think and we're clear there it is okay i support no more gun carrying with safety ahmed i'm with you hey if you guys have taken what you need the classes and by the way i learned so much on my safety classes things i never knew it was an amazing course you guys should check it out it's free online a uh, hunter safety course they are awesome as a couple and parents and love their God. Oh, Carolyn's talking about us, I think, which is totally cool. Um, thank you. Uh, hi from Israel. Oh, is it is it tall or tal? Uh, welcome. Uh, love Israel. And that's another place I want to go to. Uh, Israel and Italy are the two places I want to go to. Uh, I'd love to, I would love to just go around and meet you guys. That would be awesome. Uh, let's see here. Boop, 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 boop. Uh, if I haven't, now here's the thing, guys. Unfortunately, YouTube's new thing is they're going to delete all these questions. If I didn't answer your question in this show, because I'm running short on time it, and burning through it, if I don't answer your question, either repost it after the recorded version goes up, because I'll go through the comments, because they delete everything from the live show. They, I don't know why. It's just another screw up, but I just got to roll with it. Or. Ask me through Facebook, my Cooking with Jack show page, or my personal page. It doesn't matter. Just reach out, Twitter, Google+, anything. All right? I really want to answer all your questions, and I will. Uh, let's see. <laughs> uh, where are we? Never been to Italy. <laughs> yeah, I'll make videos. I take you guys everywhere, wherever I go. Um, I'm going to Orlando, Florida again. There's a cool place uh, at at Epcot Center where they have all the different countries. I'm going to go in there. I'm going to videotape every single country. I'm going to take you on my trip. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it's going to be probably three or four video series. Hope oh, I just cracked my knuckle. Sorry. Oh, there we go again. Um, you seem to live in such a peaceful area, so I don't understand why Tammy needs a gun. Um, that's why, Phil. Because <laughs> all the women on my street have guns. And nobody messes with them. That's why it's peaceful. <laughs> I just made that up. It just sounded funny. All right, it was funny in my head. Uh, let's see here. No one messes with her. Da -da -da. Good for Tammy. Self defense. 10, 10 to fifteen feet. The Ruger is all she needs as long as she masters accuracy. See Sandy. Good. NRA does great courses, especially PP outside the home. Huh? Who PPs outside the home? I had to say it. All right, I'm getting silly. I'm really tired. I've been up since three in the morning. Um, I just want to. I just want to say how much. Uh, oh, Lionheart! Thanks for all the icons. That was really uh, cool. Uh, Euro's the bomb. Yes, Herc. Euro is the bomb. Jack, how much of a pastry dessert guy are you? By the way, love your meat vids. All delicious. Uh, Havoc. I am trying to do more pastries. 
I want to get into more doughs and, and breads and stuff. So be, be looking for a lot more baking coming. Uh, because I was diabetic, I was staying away from all that stuff, but it's not fair to you guys. So I'm going to do it all. I'm, more international dishes are coming and more baking is coming. Uh, playing with your food, lazy man recipes. Please, if you haven't subscribed to Jack on the Go, that channel's blowing up. I've already got 20,000 subscribers on that channel and I'm getting like four to 5,000 uh, views on each one of the videos. It's crazy. It's really getting good. Uh, so check it out, Jack on the Go. I just reviewed a pizza place, uh, pizza wars, wing wars. We're still doing the food wars. So I think that's it for right now. I'm gonna go take a nap because my eyes are burning. Uh, and I just want to say thank you guys. Did I explain everything? Uh, yes, I did. I'm good. I love you guys. Take care. And once again, these, these comments should, will probably disappear. Retype your comment once it shows up recorded. Okay. On the video, uh, put it back in there and I'm going to go back after the show and answer your questions. It will take about a half hour to an hour, or you can message me through Facebook, Twitter, or Google plus love you. God bless. And thanks for hanging with me on this Saturday. Take care.